here, many men and women, young people, young men and women who are here, have by intent crippled themselves by not earning anything, including me. We don't earn anything. So, we live on this. So people make the offering and we receive it as prasadam and eat it and uh, it's doing well. <laughs> Do not underestimate the significance of this because it takes a lot of courage for a man to give up the ability to earn his own food. It takes a lot of courage that there is nothing to say is mine but still you walk like a king. It takes a lot. For that you must find something far more precious than this is mine, that is mine kind of business something far more precious within yourself. So, I'm intentionally using this word that young men and women, including myself all my life, have consciously crippled ourselves from our ability to earn food. These young men and women here, here, who are not incapable of earning their food, definitely not. They can make a living just about anywhere. I can make a living just about anywhere, all right? But consciously, we've given up that privilege and want to live in people's offerings because uh, our lives are dedicated not towards survival process. We don't want our time and energy to go away in our own survival. So people have been gracious enough, wonderful enough, that they've been taking care of this by offering a handful of rice. We are ever grateful for that. <laughs>